is the Lamb. Salaba, salaba, Dios. 
joy unto the Lord as we shout for joy, as we clap our hands, uh, as we give Him glory. Let us praise our joy in the Lord. Because of the work of the cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you glory. Thank you for the work of the cross. There is a song that says, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Let's say it together. There is power. Power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. All the Lamb, there is power, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. And then it says, The blood says freedom, I am free indeed. The blood says healing, I am healed indeed. The blood says blessings, I am blessed for life by the blood.
am blessed for life. I am blessed for life. Private life of the of this day that we are celebrating the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, my King and our Father, just bless the name of the Lord. Oh, my Father and our King, Yesu alifanyika dhambi, my King and our God. Divyo nasi tukaweza kupokea na utakatifu wake buwana. Shukuru mungu kwa sababu, oh, my Father, ya dhambi hui. Habayi vitore wa mara moja, na ikato shariba ganda habulia. Dhambi ya Yesu Kristo ili mwagu wa mara moja. Na ikato shariba geta ya ndamazia Shushukuru mungu wa biguni Kwa sababu ya dhabi hui Haba ilitorewa Na ikakubali kariba ganda raburia Yesu alifanyika dhambi kwa jiri yetu Haka beba oh my father Muzigo wetu wa dhambi riba geta ya nda Oh my savior na wakoda Reka na mageta ya ndamazia Oh my father na wakoda Oh my God and our Father, Kama Yesu hakefanyika dhambi kwa jiri ya maisha yetu, hatuke pata na fasi ya ama akuvu. Zakuwa tunakuja bele za buwana Oh my master and our father Oh my king and our God Si Yesu my father Uhai wake ulipo katika riba ganda rabulia Hata kitabacha hekaru Kiripa suka riba geta yanda Na divyo tukazini kupata neema Ya kuiki ya mahara pata katifu Oh my God through the power of the blood Oh that was shed at kaifara riba ganda my father, oh my God, and our Savior, oh my God, and our Savior, I remember that we said to Chiriwana baba ya keri bageta yanda Hivyo tuweze kupatikana Oh my father na wakoda Hivyo kaweze kuwa ya koba my father Kira moja wetu Tukapata ruhusa Ya kuwa tunaweza kumkaribi ya mungu Oh shaka baganda rabulia Reka maze kataya my master na wafada Chekere baganda rabulia masia Oh my god na wafada Asante mungu na mama yetu Kwa sababi ya mateso ya mwana weso kristo Pare msarabani riba ganda rabulia Halipigwa michereti baba yetu Hivyo tuwe tunapona mwana Oh magonjwa yetu riba geta yanda Oh my father na wakinga Hakafanyi karana Hivyo tukawito wabaliki wa wako baba yangu Oh my father na wasebia Hakami haki wali baganda rabulia Na divyo kibali chako my father Kika shuka juu yetu buwana Oh haba hatu kuwa na ubo Haba my father kuna Kitu kika titete ya buwana Haka fanyika masikini oh God Divyo tuweze kufanyika Matajiri li baganda rabulia Oh my Savior na wakada Reka na maganda rabulia Oh shata bageta yanda Sheka bageta yanda Haka nywa ishwa kikombe Oh my Father na wakinga Abacho kiribeba uchungu Nadiwe kaweze kuwa ya kwaba my Father Oh my Father na wa Savior Awe na hisi nasi Oh wakati tunapitia mamba mazito Oh my Father na wakada Awe ya naelewa Wakati tunalia kwa ajiri Ya thiki Mambo mazito Katika ulimwengu Hapao tunaishi riba geta yanda Hapao
ambao na shida zilizo nyingi reka baganda la buria alipitia njia ile ya uchungu ni baganda la buria na ndivyo kaweze kuwa ya kwamba hawe anaelewa hawe anajua oh my father na working ya kwamba tunapopitia njia oh my master hata kama ni ya kifo my father anakuja na ajili ya faraja anatuambia ya kwamba kama ni shida nasi tutashinda ribaganda la buria oh my god and our father asante ribaganda la buria asante mungu wa israeli oh my savior and our god oh my king and our father thank you my god thank you my master thank you king of our glory oh my king and our savior kwa ajili ya siku ya leo baba yangu havia weri baganda la buria oh my father and our savior tunaposidi bwana kukushukuru mungu kwa ajili ya kifo cha yesu msalabani reka na maganda la buria Oh my master and our God oh my te father sisi sisi huwa tunaiba tunasema ya kwamba oh na kifo cha Yesu bara msarabani kilikuwa cha kuniweka huru kilikuwa ni cha kuweza oh my father na our king kuweza kunifanya niwe mshini reka na maganda la buri ya my God sikaweze kuwa kwamba unamshukuru na ufahamu na kuelewa riba ganda la buri. Oh my master and our father what the death of our Lord Jesus Christ did at the cross for our life so in Uganda rekana mageta yanda masia oh my te father this day oh my king and our father have your way shall I my god rekana maganta raburia rekana maseka taya masia rekaba geta yanda my master oh my father and our god he can waze kwa ya kwa ba Jehova Mungu tasidi kutusaidia kufungua macho yetu Bwana hivyo tukasiri kuana na kazi hapo ilifanyika pale msarabani ufahamu wetu Bwana ukaweze kuwa na nafasi ya kuelewa kazi ya msaraba ile kazi kubwa Bwana iliyofanyika Bwana tusiwe tu ni kuambiwa na kusema lakini ndani ya mioyo yetu tukaweze kujua tu kaweze kuelewa bwana reka baganda la buria reka mazeka taya mazia oh my te father tuondole upofu wa roho ni siku ya leo ambao tumekuja bele zako kama watu wako walioitwa na jina lako mazia na ndivyo kaweze kuwa kwamba oh my te father you continue to touch our understanding to help us sorry bageta yanda oh my te god and our Father have your way my savior have your way my god katika ibada ya siku ya leo oh roho wako mungu abadie mwalimu wetu akasidi kutufundisha juu ya kufa bwana hata na kufufuka kwa mwanao Yesu Kristo oh my god and our father akapata na jia miogoni mwetu akashukua ushukani ribaganda reke na maseka taya mazia asante mungu wa israeli asante baba yetu oh my father na our king tunasiri kukualika zaidi tunasiri kujifungua kwako tunasiri kujisalimisha kwako kama watu wako bwana walioitwa na jina lako mazia wale waliokufiwa na mwanao Yesu Kristo have your way my god have your way my father asante mazia asante mungu wa israeli na nguvu zote abaza bwana abaza zikataka kujinua kinyume na ufalme wako bwana tunasiri kupigana nazo tunasiri kuzikataa mazia miongoni ni mwetu wa Bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo oh my god and our father na ndivyo tukasidi kupokea kutoka kwako mazia hata kwa ajili Bwana ya utukufu wa jina lako asante Mungu wetu tunakushukuru Bwana na tunakupigia makofi yetu oh my god and our savior pigia Bwana makofi mazuri kwa sababu ya siku ya leo siku ya ajabu ni makanda 
Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, my Savior. We bless your name, Lord, and we honor you. For it is in Jesus' name have we prayed and given that. Amen. Buana sifiwe. Buana sifiwe. Tusarimi ya nehewani. Amen. Na wakaribisha katika ibada ya hii. Na tuneshukuru mungu kwa sababi ya siku ya leo. Indeed, it is a great day all over the world whereby we are celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ uh, and his resurrection, kurikana na the Roman Kareda. Kwa hivyo, tunashukuru mungu. Na it is by faith that we are celebrating um, uh, this uh, day, among the days that we have been having uh, before the Lord. And uh, kwa ajiri ya kukubuka kufa na kufufuka kwake, na nina kukaribisha, na wale about to call katika TV, runinga, mitadao, Feel welcome. Na nigeoba tu tu zidi ku when open hearts before God because we have come to receive from Him and I believe there is what He has for us. Na tuta weza ku chiobea kwa dakika zirizo chache na na mimi yako mbamu kwa tatsaidia katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tuta weza kuona neno rabuana katika kitabu cha Wafiripi tatu from verses seven to eleven. Philippians chapter three. From verses 7 to 11. Nina omba tuwekewe na New Living Translation. Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 to 11. Inasema hivi. I once thought these things were variable, but now I consider them worthless because of what Christ has done. Yes, Everything else is worthless when compared with it, the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have discarded everything else, counting it all as garbage, so that I could gain Christ and become one with him. I no longer count on my own righteousness through obeying the law. Rather, I become righteous through faith in Christ. For God's way of making us light with himself depends on faith. I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. I, from, from the dead, I want to suffer with him, sharing in his death, so that uh, one way or another I will experience the resurrection from the dead. From the dead. Tutaweza kufika hapo. Na hapa ni mtumishi wake mungu, paoru. And we know Paul was a zealous man because of the religion alikuwa natumika dani yake. And uh, tunajua vili abavyo, the same zeal he could persecute the church. Angeweza kuingia katika manyumba zao, kuwapiga na kuatadika. Na tunaona even the incidents of Stefano alikuwa pare kama rifari. But I thank God because of the time he had an encounter with Jesus, ni akwamba alibadilisha ma, uh, alibadilishi wa maisha na ikawa ya kwamba akaanza kuona mambo yale ambayo alikuwa anayadhamini sana alikuwa ya kwamba ana ya, uh, uh, ya anawadhamini ana yadhamini akaanza kuyaona ya kwamba yote ni bure because there is some there is what he was feeling in his heart wakati alipokuwa na ua wa Kristo and he could take pride in that lakini after that encounter his life was changed and was tra transformed. Na divi wanazidi kusema kwamba, aliweza kuacha mambo mengi for the sake of uh, desiring to know Christ and to know the power that is in his death and his resurrection. Na vidi abavi alikuwa nasimama na utakatifu wa sheria, akaanza kutamani ya kwamba kupitia imani utakatifu wa Yesu Kristo ukazidi kubika dani ya moyo wake. Na tunaona akiwa na kirio 
ya kwamba akazidi kumjua huyu Yesu Kristo na akazidi kujua nguvu ambazo zilizoweza kuwa zimemfufua na hivyo nilikuwa naangalia wakati kama huu tuna anasi tuna celebrate even the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ this is a prayer we can pray for ourselves like uh, uh, Paul hivyo ambavyo alikuwa kwamba utakatifu wake haukuwa tena wa sheria lakini ulikuwa ni utakatifu kutokana na Yesu Kristo. Yesu ni ya kwamba yeye alikuwa mtakatifu hakujua dhambi lakini akawekewa mzigo wa dhambi ndivyo uh, uh, maisha yetu ndivyo aweze kufanyika the righteousness of God. This is a prayer that we can pray for ourselves this morning ya kwamba tutamani ndani ya maisha yetu na ndani ya mioyo yetu ya kwamba utakatifu huu ukazidi kubika ndani ya maisha yetu because righteousness ni ya kwamba uh, inahua kuna vile huwa inatuestablish ndani ya Mungu Isaiah 54 uh, uh, Isaiah uh, uh, this, this Isaiah that says ya kwamba kuna vile ambavyo the righteousness of God is able to establish us inaweza kufanya hata uh, uh, wenye wamechukua silaha kinyume na maisha yetu wasiweze kufauru wame, wenye wamepanga mambo kinyume na maisha yetu yasiweze kufikiana na neno linazidi kusema kwamba hata wakiwa wamekusanyika in one way or the other is that God will scatter them in all the seven ways so there is the way the righteousness of God huwa inatutetea hata bere za maadui wetu na pia inatutetea bere za Bwana na hivi unaona kwamba hata wakati tunakuja bere yake Mungu tukimuomba tukiwa kwamba kuna vile ambavyo maisha yetu yalivyo bere za Bwana kuna vile utakatifu wake Bwana unafanya Mungu azidi kutusikia zaidi and that is why Jesus Christ angeweza kuwa kwamba ambe anachaguliwa ana, ana, ana because he was the righteousness of God kwa hivyo asubuhi ya leo ni vyema kujiangalia kama katika maisha yetu tunasema dio tuna celebrate the death of and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ lakini naweza kuwa kwamba matendo yetu yanamkana bwana yanazidi kumsurubisha pale msalabani kwa sababu ya vile ambavyo tunavyotebea bere za bwana kwa sababu inaweza kuwa kwamba tukiwa hapa kanisani tuko wazuri lakini kule nje there is how the way we walk maybe katikati ya mume na mke katikati ya jamii ama vile tunafanya hata biashara zetu vile tunahusiana one with another inaweza kuwa kwamba yani uh, uh, hatuonyeshi matendo yetu hayaonyeshi utakatifu wa Bwana iwe ya kwamba tunazidi kumsurubisha na, na Yesu Kristo kwa hivyo ni vizuri kujiombea ya kwamba kama mtu anajijua wewe una uh, uh, Mungu anatujua na shetani anatujua kwa hivyo ni vizuri kuzidi kulilia the righteousness of god ikazidi kuwa imputed in our lives in every fiber of our, of our lives na divyo tukazidi kuonyesha yani hakika Yesu alikufa kwa ajili ya maisha yetu na jambo lingine ni ya kwamba tutaweza kuwa tu, uh, tumejiombea tutaweza kuomba kwa ajili ya ya vile ambavyo Paul pia alikuwa naomba ya kwamba akazidi kuweza kumjua na Yesu Kristo yeye uh, uh, ni ya kwamba akiwa anafanya vile alikuwa anafanya hakuamemjua lakini wakati alikuwa na encounter ni ya kwamba it brought a change a turn around in his life and this is a good prayer to pray for oneself ya kwamba that i may continue to know you jesus and to know even the power that is in the death and in, in, in even your resurrection kwa hivyo tunapozidi kumjua yesu ni ya kwamba kuna vile ambavyo the new life itazidi kuwa injected in our lives na ndivyo vile ambavyo pengine tulikuwa tunajulikana watu ambao wana 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 wanakiri Yesu lakini Yesu haonekani ule upya wa, ma, wa, wa, wa maisha ya Yesu utazidi kuubika ndani ya maisha yetu ama in other words it is about transformation because kanisa la leo kuna mambo mengi ambao tumechanganyika nayo. Ndio tunasema juu ya Yesu, lakini kwingine tukiangaliwa ule mfano wa Yesu hauonekani. And this is a prayer that Paul was crying to God for. Akiwa anamwambia Mungu ya kwamba that time I know, you know Jesus 
and you know and to know the death that is you know uh, in uh, uh, the, 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 the the to know him and to know the power that is in his death and his resurrection kwa hivyo ni tutajiombea hilo ombi that we may continue to know the power that is in the, you know that the, to know uh, to know Jesus ama to know God because There, there is a way they are intertwined God Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Kwa hivyo tunapomjua Mungu hata tutazidi kujua vile ambavyo tunafaa kutembea mbele zake Bwana. Daudi kwa sababu alikuwa anamuelewa Bwana alikuwa anasema hata nikiwa katika nyumba yangu ninajiangalia vile ambavyo ninavyokaa pale nikiwa peke yangu so inaweza kuwa kwamba kwa kutomjua Mungu na kujua hata Yesu mwenyewe tunaweza kuwa tunafanya mambo ambayo yanazidi kumsurubisha na Mungu wetu but when we know our God when we know Jesus ni ya kwamba itatusaidia katika nyakati ya bazo tunaishi ndani yake nyakati ya bazo kuna lot of compromise but when we know god tutaweza kuangalia how we are walking before god so we will pray for ourselves that we may continue to know him this other prayer that paul prayed akasema kwamba that i may continue to know the power that is in the death and the resurrection of your son jesus christ ni ya kwamba tunapozidi kujua nguvu hizi kwa sababu tunaona kwamba hata Yesu wakati alipokufa ni ya kwamba hakufufuka vile ambavyo alivyokuwa alifufuka akiwa transformed alikuwa akiwa amebadilishwa alifufuka na na utukufu na hii ndio Mungu anatamani ya kwamba that you may continue to die to self na when we die to self tukazidi ku, kuwa conformed to the image of our Lord Jesus Christ ya kwamba tunapokiri Yesu tunapotoa ushuhuda kuna vile ambavyo kuna washahidi walio wengi kuna watu wanatuangalia kuna mapepo yanatuangalia na kuna sh- wa mashahidi wakibigwa ambao wanatuangalia na hii ni kilio kinaweza kutusaidia kwamba ushahidi ambao unapatwa na hao watu wote hao wote ambao wanatuangalia wakazidi kuona hakika ya kwamba the resurrection life of our Lord Jesus Christ has been reflected in our lives kwa hivyo naamini Mungu atatusaidia na nitaweza kuelekeza katika jina la Yesu Because because when he died to self ni ya kwamba Yesu ataonekana zaidi ya kwamba watu walikuwa wanakujua wewe unajipenda and when you die to self utakuwa kwamba haujipendi vile ambavyo ulikuwa zamani ulikuwa mtu wa chuki yani nakuwa kuna ule utofauti ulikuwa mtu wa kuzigiziana unaone ule utofauti unaonekana ulikuwa watu wa mtu ambaye anajia bazo hazieleweki when the resurrection life is you know imputed in us ama we continue to die to self ni ya kwamba Yesu hakika atazidi kuonekana na itakuwa ya kwamba tutazidi kuitwa hakika watu wa kweli wa Mungu na kama kanisa tutazidi kuitwa uh, watu wa kweli wa Mungu and this is the desire of God in our lives. So tutaweza kusimama kwa miguu yetu na tutaweza kuweza kuenda mbele za Bwana ama kupiga magoti na hata kuweza uh, ku uh, uh, ile jia utasikia kwamba you are okay before God. We will go before the Lord and pray to God if indeed we are speaking about the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lakini matendo yetu ni tofauti. Yanazidi kumsurubisha Yesu. Pray for your life. Cry to God. Na mwambie Mungu, sitaki kurudi katika ile jia. Nataka kuwa ya kwamba wewe sitaki kumsurubisha Yesu tena kwa sababu hakika kanisa mambo mengi yanaendelea tuefungua kinywa chako wacha twende mbele za Bwana if indeed ni ya kwamba matendo yetu njia zetu kuongea kwetu my savior mawazo yetu inakuwa inaweza kuwa kwamba hata disobedience inaweza kuwa imo juu ya maisha yetu tunaona ya kwamba tunaishi in the perilous time about mambo mengi yamenenwa ya kwamba hata watu watakuwa watu wa kujipenda watu ambao watakuwa 
head had had headed watu about ni vichwa gumu watu about after they are unthankful watu about my father wanapenda pressure my savior na wa god wacha tujiombe ndivyo kaweze kwa yakomba libaganda tunaposema yakomba hakika yesu amefufuka ikaweze kwa yakomba my father tusiwe yakomba bando tumemweka pale msarabani ombea moyo wako riria bwana libaganda la buria yakomba kama matendo yako yanazidi kumsurubisha na yesu msarabani ikaweze kwa yakomba oh my father kama vile paulo alivyo kuwa na ile encounter na yesu aligairi alibadilisha jia zake oh my taking and our father Oh my savior now our God I oh, pray for your heart na ndivyo kaweze kwa ya kwa my father even in any way to God tunamsurubisha Yesu oh my father pare msarabani matendo yetu my master oh my king and our father ikaweze kwa ya kwa my king tutabadilisha na mienendo yetu na njia zetu my father na ndivyo ikaweze kwa ya kwa wale wapa walikuwa natujua mashahidi hapa wana tuangalia mashahidi wa kibingu mashahidi wa mapepo wakazidi kuona hakika oh my father na wa king the image of our lord jesus christ Kat- maisha yetu ribaganda oh my master na wa father riria moyo wako bere za bwana ombea maisha yako ribaganda la buria na ndivyo kaweze kuwa ya kwamba my father mungu akasidi kuwa na jia katika maisha yetu my father tusiwe tunatoa ushuhuda kati na vinywa tu lakini my master na wa father matendo yetu ni tofauti yanazidi kufanya yesu oh my father na wa king akaemsa bani katika maisha yetu oh my father na wa god oh my king na wa god pray for your life oh before god ibaganda la buria reke na mazeka taya mazia na ndive kaweze kuwa ya kwa my father tutaondokea hizo njia tutagairi oh my king na wa god my father reke na maganda la buria my master oh my king na wa father have your way my savior reka baganda la buria Oh, kama watu ambao walioitwa na jina lako baba yangu kule bako my master hata maneno ya vinywa vyetu yanaweza kuwa ya gari yanakusulubisha oh my father my king and our savior that is a siri bwana oh my father kuna tunajificha wanadamu oh na tunazidi kukusulubisha bugu yesu oh my king and our father to save siweze kurudi katika hiyo njia na ndivyo tunaposidi kutangaza ya kwamba Yesu mefufuka ikaweze kuwa ya kwamba itakuwa ni hivyo katika maisha yetu ribashanda reka na maganda la buria reka na mageta ya namazia and our father oh he might take king and our god wapendwa ni yakomba oh my father tunaangaliwa na mashahidi wa wanadamu mashahidi wa mapepo mashahidi wa kibingu oh my father na our king ili abavyo tunavyo endenda ili abavyo tunavyo tzidi kutebea pere za bwana oh he might take king and our father jehovah oh my master and our father have your weary baganda la bulia ombi la piri kama vile Paulo alivyo kuwa na encounter na Yesu o oh, alikuwa anafuata sheria lakini ni yakomba kupitia imani oh my father utakatifu wake Mungu ukaanza kupadika ndani ya moyo wake sikaweze kuwa ya kwamba my father tutakuwa na kutamani ya kwamba kupitia imani utakatifu wake Mungu wetu utasidi kupadika katika maisha yetu oh my father oh my god oh my master 
Oh my King and our Father, tamani ya kwamba my Father. Oh, tutazidi kufalishu abasiri, la utakatifu kupitia imani. Nivyo tunaona ya kwamba, pauru wakasema ya kwamba. Oh my Father, alikuwa nafuata utakatifu wa sheria, lakini ni ya kwamba libaganda rabulia, alipo kutana na Yesu. Oh my Father na our King, ikawe kuwa ya kwamba, alianza, oh my Father, Dani yake kupandwa my God utakatifu wa Mungu hapa ukemtetea katika maisha yake tunaona Paulo alikutana na mambo mazito kwa lakini kwa sababu ya utakatifu wake Bwana kupadika katika maisha yake oh my master na wa father alipigana vita paka akasema ya kwamba oh nimepigana vita jema vya imani my master na wa father sina asili ya kwamba libaganda rabulia tuko katika vita katika maisha haya bao tunaishi lakini ni ya kwamba utakatifu wake bwana ukizidi kupadika ndani ya maisha yetu utazidi kututetea utazidi kufanya mapepo oh my father na wa king yaweze kufika bali nasi oh my father na wa king hata tukipangiwa mambo mazito kama vile paulo alikuwa anapangiwa ni ya kwamba maadui wake hawangeweza my father oh kum- mwagamiza kwa sababu my father ndani ya maisha yake upa utakatifu wake Mungu kupitia Yesu Kristo imani ndani yake ulipandika ndani ya maisha yake nasi kama kanisa ribaganda rabulia hii ndio mapenzi ya Bwana oh my father na wa God cry to God na ndivyo kaweze kuwa ya kwamba oh my father na wa God that through faith the righteousness that is in our Lord Jesus Christ itasidi kuingia katika maisha yetu itasidi kupandika my father na ndivyo kaweze kuwa ya kwamba my father hata tunapopigana vita hatutashidwa jihani hatutaweza my father oh my god and our king kuagamia in the battlefield oh my god reka na maganda raburia oh my master and our father Oh my king and our savior oh my king and our father because righteousness is a scepter of the kingdom of god oh my father and our king na ufalme wa bwana ni ya kwamba huwa unapatikana una katika hali ya kungangana hali ya kumenyana na mapepo na ufalme wa giza ribaganda la buria oh my father na wa god oh my savior na wa king mapepo ya kiona oh my father vasihiri na utakatifu katika maisha yetu hayataweza kuwa na tufinyiria kama vile ambavyo yamekuwa yamekitufinyiria hapo bereni my god cry for you alive oh riria bwana oh my master and our father hata siraha zikiweza kuwa zimeinuliwa kinyume na maisha yetu oh my master they will not prosper hata wale ambao watainuka kuweza kukodema uh, kutuinukia na vinywa vyao tuta in judgment tutaweza kuinuka na kuweza kukodema hizo sauti kupitia basi na utakatifu my master oh my king and our father Father, the righteousness abao iko ndani ya Yesu Kristo hiyo tunazidi kulilia oh my father na wa king ikaweze kuwa ya kwamba my father itazidi kupandika katika maisha yetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo oh my father na wa god oh my father righteousness we establish us in god and we shall stand strong hatutakuwa watu abao ni ni, ni, ni awalio wadhaifu tu tutakuwa watu walio na nguvu oh my father na wa king hata tukitumia oh my father siraha bazo tumepewa zitakuwa zinaadhiri ufalme wa giza ribaganda raburia oh my father na wa god vile yesu alikuwa mtakatifu oh my father tunazidi kulilia utakatifu huu ukazidi kuingia katika maisha yetu oh my the father and our god because my master and our father righteousness is a scepter oh my father 
Oh my king of the kingdom of God rekana mageta yanda degeteria na mazia my father shirabaganda laburia rekina mageta yanda mazia rekana mageta yanda my master oh my father now our god have your way this morning kama kanisa lako bwana kama watu walioitwa kwa jina lako mungu tunaziri kukuliria bwana oh my master now our father vile ambavyo tunaziri Shalekea juu ya kufufuka kwa manao Yesu Kristo alikuwa mtakatifu Mungu wangu tunaziri kuliria Bwana oh mighty father na wa king utakatifu huu na ndivyo ikaweze kuwa ya kwa mama my father hata mishale ikirushwa Bwana my king na wa father Jehovah haitaweza kupenya katika maisha yetu Mungu wangu oh mighty father na wa king because my master na wa father oh, Oh God and our King, utakatifu ni siraha katika maisha yetu. Have your way, Baganda Raburia. Reka na mazeka taya mazia. Oh my King and our Father, tunapoendelea kujiombea, si tujiombee kama paoro, ila litamani kumjua. Oh na Yesu Kristo, oh tamani ya kwamba tukasidi kujua na Yesu Kristo. Oh my dear Father and our King, King, at the mighty power abaliweza kumfufua riri ya Mungu kwa sababu tunaposidi kujua na nguvu hizi tutazidi kusimama imara hatutakuwa goi goi katika mavita tunapopigana katika nyakati ambazo tunaishi ambazo kuna mambo mengi ya kutuzinga ya kutuzuhiria oh mighty god and our father cry to god Oh my master and our father Paul anamwambia Mungu that I may know the power that is in the dead and that I may know him Oh my king and our God tamani kujua Oh my dear father Yesu Kristo na kumjua Yesu Kristo pia ni kumjua Mungu neno linatuambia tukimjua na Mungu wetu tutakuwa na nguvu tutakuwa hodari katika vita Stop. Oh my savior oh my king and our father tamani kumjua oh my father oh mungu hana mwisho our god is so deep our god is so high, high. our god is so broad ya kwamba hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza sema ya kwamba have trusted oh my father to know him reka maganda la buria tamani kumjua na mungu wale ambao wana mjua na Mungu wao wanakuanga na nguvu oh my father hata ya kutenda maajabu na miujiza riba ganda la buria oh my father sio wanyonge katika vita sio wadhaifu wanakuwa bold oh my father before god reka mageta yanda mazia oh my father na wa king kanisa la leo oh my father Mungu anatamani tukaweze kuju Kuvu ambazo ziko ndani ya Yesu Kristo reka na mageta yanda mazia na ndivyo tukasidi kupeleka vita katika marango ya adui bwana tukubali kusidi kufinyiriwa hata na magonjwa kufinyiriwa oh my dear father oh na, mara, na, na mambo ambayo ni mazito oh my god cry to god that you may know oh my father oh god oh my men oh god we men know our lord jesus christ
Oh my God, praise him on Apokuja to Kassiri Kuchiombea. Even there is election life. He Kassiri Kuaju Yetu. Oh, mighty Father, now our God. Ya Koma Tayare Mabuabayo. Ya Mekufa Dani Yetu. Ya Kassiri Kufufuri Wana Gumu Hizi. That we may continue even to die to self for Ibaganda Naburia. Continue to cry to God. Nikwa Sababu, my King and our Father. Oh, my God. God, there is power, my Father, when we continue to know all the power that is in the death of our Lord Jesus Christ as we continue to die to serve Rivaganda. Oh, Nadive Kaweze Kuaya Kwamba, transformation power, He can see it reflected in our lives. Oh, my Father, yes, so Christo, I can see it reflected in our lives. His image, oh, my Father, He can see it reflected in our lives. So, Rivaganda. Oh, continue to bless with God. Continue to wrestle with God because there is power in knowing my Father. Even the power that is in the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Even the power of His resurrection.
Tunakupasifa na utukufu Watahili heshima zote Tunaleta sadaka ya sifa na heshima mbele zako siku ya leo Tukikiri wendi obwana wetu Wendi ye mungu wa ufufu wa wetu bwana Tunakupikia shangwe na vigelegele Ambazo unastahili wewe peke yako Ulie shinda kifo na mauti Unaweza bwana Tunaongezea vifijo na nderemo He is alive today our Savior is alive. He's no longer in the grave. Somebody give him praise. Give him glory. Give him glory.
Bona
Bwana Awete na majabu ae Shangilia ae take our seats. Thank you. Worship team, may the Lord continue to bless you and more grace upon your lives. Buona sifuwe sana. Happy Easter. Ungie mkono wako sema happy Easter. Mahari popote ulipo kwa overflow, heaven's gate, social media, happy Easter. Amen. Tunashukuru mungu kwa sababu ya kutuleta ubali huu. Tunapo ona uh, Easter hii ya mwaka wa 2022 tunajua imegalimu mkono wa Bwana and we thank God for this far that he has brought us praise the name of the living God Friday tulisema ya kwamba you don't just celebrate a day but you celebrate the liberation about uh, this season praise the name of the living God if you have a revelation of what happened uh, you have a reason to celebrate Bwana asifuwe sana. So na wakaribisha nyinyi wote ambao tuko hapa, wale tuko kwa Overflow, Victor's Chapel, Faith Chapel, wale tuko kwa social media, kwa radio, different nations here in Kenya. May God bless you as you connect with your, our service this morning. Ningependa kuchukua nafasi kukaribisha wageni wote ambao wametembelea uh, wakati wa season ya Easter, washirika wetu wengine wanasafiri na sisi tunapata wengine ambao wamekuja kutembea katika mji wetu. Sinione wageni wale ambao wamejiunga pamoja nasi katika ibada hii. Pungie mkono. Wow, ni wengi. Simameni. Rise up on your feet. Thank you. Thank you. We celebrate you. We celebrate. We celebrate all our visitors. It's a blessing to have all of you here. God bless you. Naona engineer Cairo Pare and the team, God bless you. Engineer Cairo anasimama kiti cha uh, MP wa hapa Nakuru West. Na Nakuru West unajua ni... Uh, pre, Nakuru East. Nakuru East unajua ni hapa tuko. So lazima tuwe na interest. Nani ya kirisha katika bunge linara kuja. So mungu wa kubariki and the whole team that have come to visit with us today. God bless you. Feel at the feet of Jesus. I think we need after the nominations uh, to ombe candidates wote sasa wale watakuwa on the list. We commission them in Jesus' name. Some of them are our members. We need to continue praying for them. Bwana pewe sifa. Shida yenu ni najua tu ni vire hamu kupartispeti katika nominations. 
uh, kwa sababu mnangojea uchaguzi lakini we need a lot of civic education because some places if you don't participate in the nominations uh, ama zinaitwa primaries basi zikiwa ni stronghold yule candidate ambaye amechaguliwa lazima atapita na kwa hivyo in the future we need God to help us kama kabisa tunataka kuhusika katika demokrasia ya inchi yetu lazima tuwe more strategic bwana pewe sifa wangapo alihusika katika nomination eh naona mikono kadhaa juu sasa na wengine wanasema nimejua we ni wa chama gani sasa usilete mambo ya chama hapa katika ibada <laughs> jina la bwana ipewe sifa kila mtu anafaa kuwa na chama chake na ajue ni nani anachagua lakini tuombe Mungu mapenzi yake yatimizwe praise the name of the living god amen if you look at our brochures for the national prayer we are saying we are praying for the nation for the will of god to be done but we are also doing that by wise action lazima tuwe na kitendo cha hekima cha kujua ya kwamba pia tunafaa kwenda to the ballot na tuchague yule Mungu ameweka ndani ya moyo wetu ya kwamba huyo ndiye atakaye akilisha Mungu hata wanafunzi wa Yesu walipiga kura in the book of acts praise the name of the living god so Mungu atatusaidia ningependa tuendelee katika ujumbe wetu wa siku ya leo na my message today is resurrection sunday resurrection sunday uh, it doesn't look like a title for the message but because today is a resurrection sunday i would like to talk about resurrection bwana pewe sifa na resurrection is one of the major major topics in our christian faith and it is also one of the things that many religions try to solve and to find a solution wengine wanasema ukifa unaenda paradise wengine wanasema kuna reincarnation ya kwamba kutegemea na mambo uliyoyafanya mazuri ama mabaya utafufuka ukiwa kiumbe bora zaidi ama uzaliwe ukiwa kiumbe bora zaidi ama uzaliwe ukiwa kiumbe dhaifu yani kumaanisha kama wakati ulikufa we ulikuwa unafanya mambo mengi mabaya unaweza zaliwa hata ukiwa mbwa ha? kwa sababu <laughs> kwa sababu ya zile dhambi ulikuwa umefanya so uh, dini nyingi ziko na theory ya kujaribu kutatua jambo hili la resurrection because people feel it's a reality that there is life after death that human beings are not ordinary beings they are spirit beings living in a physical body and spirits don't die so even though your physical body uh, may come to an end your spirit continues to live and may manifest in the future life praise the name of the living god so the selection is very foundational in our christian faith we believe in life after death praise the name of the living god na tunapoongea juu ya resurrection hatuwezi kosa kuongea juu ya death na unajua death is the greatest fear of every man kama kuna kitu kinaogopwa duniani ni kifo na kifo watu wengi wanaogopa na wanajaribu kufanya mambo mengi but it is an appointment the bible says it is appointed for a man to die once and after death is judgment you can try to postpone your your, your death maybe through science uh, uh, kuna watu wengi wanafaa kuwa wamekufa lakini bado wanaishi kwa sababu pengine wanatumia dawa nyingi wanajidunga mashindano na nini they are just postponing death yani kumaanisha wako na pesa mingi wanaweza hata juzi siliona kuna moja aliweza kuchinjwa akawekwa ni hati ya gurue eh? na akaishi akaishi sijui aliishi wiki ngapi eh? aliishi kwa muda kidogo alipostpone death yake lakini bado ilikuja praise the name of the living god bado ilikuja so death is a reality that we must face squarely on the face and know how to deal with it kama mimi kuna kitu kilifanya mimi nikaokoka nikujua there is life after death bereni mimi nilikuwa na 
sema hata nikihubiriwa amenasema mimi nataka tu siku ile nitakufa niachwe tu nikufe na mambo yaishie wapi mimi sitaki kwenda binguni na sitaki kwenda kuzimu nataka tu nikifa nizikwe lakini Mungu akanizungumzia akaniambia you are a spirit being wewe hata mwili ukifa bado utaishi lazima uchague utaishi wapi hapo ndiyo nikaanza kuogopa na nikajua haya kumbe kabuli sio mwisho wakati unateremshwa kabulini ni mwili kuna maisha baada ya kabuli praise the name of the living god and that is how we are supposed to make a very wise decision watu wale wote tunawaona manabii baba zetu wa imani wote walikuwa wanatumaini ya kwamba there is a life after death our father abraham the bible says he was looking forward for a city whose builder and architect is god himself watu kama petero walikuwa nasema god has uh, assured me that very soon i'm going to leave the tent of this body paul alikuwa nasema i know my departure is near ukiangalia watu wengi wa imani walikuwa na tumaini ya kwamba kuna mahali ambapo anaenda hebrews inatuambia there are people who suffered and they refused to be released from their suffering because they were looking for a better resurrection praise the name of the living god na kwa hivyo ni vizuri kujua kwamba there is life after death hmm? kuna watu wawili tu tunaona katika biblia ambao hawakukufa ah, enoch na elijah hao ndio watu wawili tu tunaona walienda na mwi so pengine huyu watatu ni wawili tu ambao <laughs> walienda na mwili jina la bwana ipewe sifa the bible says that enoch walk, walked with god and he was no more alitembea na mungu mpaka mungu akamshika mkono akamwambia twende hakutakuwa na mazishi ah naye tunajua elijah alibebwa na magari ah eh, 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 elisha akimwangalia praise the name of the living god so miri yao ilibadilishwa wakaingia katika utukufu na kwa hivyo siku ya leo kama sisi ni wanadamu wa kawaida lazima tuelewe ya kwamba kuna kifo na baada ya kufa kuna kufufuka ama kuna maisha baada ya kifo death is a equalizer of all men watu wote matajiri masikini wanakufa ha? na hakuna mtu anaweza kuepuka kifo kifo ni lazima tofauti yetu sisi wote tukifa pengine ni kaburi yako iwe uh, imekuwa cemented imejengwa na mawe kutoka chini imewekwa tiles lakini sisi wote tutapelekwa huko chini wengine pengine useme uchomwe uh, lakini kifo death is a equalizer ya kwamba hata mabilionea wanakufa masikini wanakufa death humbles men kifo kinafanya wanadamu waweze ndio bibi inasema kwamba maisha ya mwanadamu ni kama nyasi leo iko kijani kibichi kesho unaona imenyauka jina la bwana ipewe sifa na kwa hivyo kifo kinafaa kutuondolea kibuli katika maisha haya ujue wewe ni uwe na nini ufike wapi uwe profesa praise the name of the living god siku moja kifo kinakungojea Sometimes we wish kama watu wengine walikufa wangetuachia degree zao na hekima waliokuwa nayo. Praise the name of the living God. Wahubiri wakubwa waliokufa. Wakati mwingine mimi nikiangalia wahubiri kama Myos Munro akihubiri. Sasa nasema huyu mtu aliena na hii utajiri yote. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Haleluya. Watu waliokuwa na upako mkubwa wakafa. Death hakuna mtu ina spare. Ha? Awe muaminio wa kawaida. Awe muhubiri mkubwa jina la bwana lipewe sifa na siku ya leo ndiposa nitaongea juu ya resurrection na tutaangalia mambo ambayo yangezuilia resurrection ikaweze kufanyika jina la bwana lipewe sifa lakini resurrection ni msingi mkubwa wa imani yetu kama wa Kristo bibi nasema in the book of 1 Corinthians if we can study uh, uh, from chapter 15 paul aliongea mambo mengi juu ya resurrection na akaweza kujibu maswali mengi ambayo tunaweza kujiuliza. Paul anasema 1 Corinthians 15:1. Now, brothers, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received and on which you have taken your stand. In the Ijiri ambao Paul alikuwa anahubiri, uh, by this gospel you are saved if you hold firmly to the word uh, 
I preach to you. Otherwise, you have believed in vain. For what I received, I passed on to you as of first importance. Yani Paul anasema kuna mambo nilipokea na nikayapitisha kwenu. Na kumbuka Paul anasema injili niliyohubiri mimi si kufundishwa na mwanadamu. Nilifundishwa kwa ufunuo na Yesu Kristo. Na anasema mambo yale nilipokea niliyapitisha kwenu kama mambo ya muhimu that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures that he was buried that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures and that and that he appeared to peter and then to the 12 after that he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers at the same time most of whom are still living though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James. Then to all the apostles. And last of all, he appeared to me also as to one abnormally born. Hebu tufikishe hapo. Kwa nini Paul anasema ya kwamba mambo yale niliyo ya pokea na injiri niliyo wahubiria niliweza kuwapatia mambo haya kama mambo ya muhimu sana kama mambo ya dhamana na Paul anaongea juu ya the resurrection so the resurrection to Paul was very important uh, to every believer and resurrection uh, is supposed to be a very important message uh, that we are supposed to understand beyond any reasonable doubt we are supposed to understand uh, the message uh, of resurrection praise the name of the living god Ya kwamba Yesu alikufa Paul anasema na baada ya Yesu kufa akawekwa kabulini. na baada ya kuwekwa kabulini, akafufuka na baada ya kufufuka hakuenda juu mbinguni God made sure that after the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ uh, Jesus did not go back to heaven He stayed here on earth uh, for 40 days Na katokea watu maratisa katika instances tofauti. You know kama angeda direct biguni, bado kungekuwa na shaka kama alifufuka ama hakufufuka. Jina bwana ipewe sifa. Lakini ndio hizo shaka ziondoke. Na unajua this is one of the areas hata shetani alikuwa nataka aifunike. Kumbuka ya kwamba Yesu alipofufuka. Ha? Yeah? Walisema, afadhali tupatie askari pesa. Waseme ya kwamba mwili wake uliibiwa. Kwa sababu ukweli huu utakuwa na nguvu zaidi kuliko hata ule wa kwanza. Waliona ya kwamba it's like this is a climax of what Jesus has been preaching. And if they don't undo uh, the resurrection, it will have more impact. Praise the name of the living God. So they said, wacha tupatie askari pesa. Na hili waende waseme ya kwamba, mwili wake uliibiwa usiku wakati walikuwa wamelara. And that is why we are supposed to give our money to preach the gospel, to tell the truth, to tell people that Jesus is alive. Praise the name of the living God. Kwa sababu kuna watu utoa pesa, wafunike ukweli, ama pesa zao zinatumika kupropagate uongo walitoa pesa ili uongo uene ya kwamba Yesu mwili wake ni kuibiwa uliibiwa lakini tunajua bibi nasema ya kwamba wakati walienda pale kaburini walikuta ile shuka ambayo mwili wake ulikuwa umefungwa naye na ile scarf ilikuwa kwa kichwa chake zote zimekunjwa vizuri na zimewekwa pale kaburini ni mwizi gani anakuja kuiba mauti, maiti na ako na tai mafungue mwili ha? na akunje vizuri ile shuka aiweke pale si unaiba mwili na shuka ile imebeba lakini kwa sababu Yesu ni kufufuka alifufuka alifufuka na baada ya kufufuka akasema i am a man of order digetiga goko ha na mimi naweza nataka kujua kitada yako uliwacha namna gani 
Huh? Jina bwana ipewe sifa. Especially brothers. The way you live your bed is very important. It tells you who you are. Yesu alisema ya kwamba siwezi wacha hii mashuka imeanguka wapi? So akaikunja vizuri, akaiweka pale kaburini, alafu akaenda. Praise the name of the living God. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha kwamba mwili wa Yesu sio kuibiwa uliibiwa, ni kufufuka alifufuka. Na akatokea watu, ha? kuambia ya kwamba nimefufuka. Na hakuna mtu mwingine duniani ambaye ameshawahi kusema ya kwamba nitakufa na baadaye nitafufuka. Hakuna mtu alikuwa na that audacity ya kuwa na that assurance. Yaani unapatiana an appointment beyond the grave. Yaani unasema hata wakati nitazikwa baadaye ninarudi mningoje. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Can somebody shout yes reason? Twendele verse 12. Verse 12 mahali tumewachia. We read a few more verses from verse 12 of 1 Corinthians 15 from verse 12. But if it is preached that Christ has been raised from the dead, how can some of you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless and so is your faith look at that huh? look at verse 14 and if christ has not been laced our preaching is useless and so is your faith so the selection is very foundational in our faith verse 15 more than that uh, we are then found to be false witnesses about god for we have testified about god that he raised christ from the dead but he did not raise him if in fact uh, the dead uh, are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, uh, then Christ has not been raised either. And if Christ has not been raised, uh, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. Then, then those also who have fallen asleep in Christ are lost. If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are to be pitied more than all men, my God. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who are foreign asleep. Praise the name of the living God. Look at the argument of Paul. Paul anasema ya kwamba, kama Yesu hakufufuka, basi inchiri ambao tunaubiri ni bule. Kwa hivyo, nguvu ya inchiri ni katika ufufuo. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. I know we have had a lot of prosperity gospel and how God is going to bless you in this life. But I can tell you, the climax of the gospel is the selection. Paul is saying in verse 19, if only for this life we have put our hope in Christ, we are to be pitied more than all men. Praise the name of the living God. New Living Translation or Amplified. Let's read another version. And if our hope in Christ is only for this life, we are more to be pitied than anyone in the world. Kwa nini tuhurumiwe? Ni kwa sababu wapendwa kama imani yetu dani ya Kristo Yesu. Ni kwa sababu tu ya maisha haya. Tunafaa kuhurumiwa kwa sababu gani? Maisha haya kuna watu wanaishi vizuri kukuliko. Na wana Yesu. Hawamjui Mungu. Wanakaa nyumba nzuri, wanapeleka gari nzuri, wanaishi maisha mazuri and they don't know about your Jesus. And if they heard about him, they don't need him either. Hawamtaki. Lakini bado wanaishi wanaendelea kuishi maisha yao mazuri. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha kama wewe umeokoka tu kwa sababu tu ya maisha haya. The reason of our salvation is not just about this life. The reason of our salvation is because there is life after death. And Jesus is the first fruit of resurrection. Praise the name of the living God. And if Jesus resurrected from the dead, the same power that resurrected Jesus from the dead, the same power power we resurrect us uh, from the dead praise the name of the living god binasema basi kama hakuna ufufuo 
wale waliokufa wakimwamini huyu Yesu basi nipotelea mbali maisha yao lakini wapendwa nataka uwe na imani siku ya leo kwamba there is a resurrection there is a life after death and let me tell you once you die there is nothing that you can be able to change whatever you can change you can only change it when you are alive it is appointed for a man to die once and after death judgment after death there is not nothing else you can do wacha na dini zinazosema ati kwamba mtu anaweza kuombewa wakati amekufa hakuna hakuna kitu naweza badilisha ukifa kama kuna kitu utabadilisha badilisha sasa kama kuna dhambi ya kutubu tubu sasa kama kuna matendo mema ya kufanya fanya sasa kama unataka maisha mema baada ya ufufuo basi ishi maisha ambayo hayakupatii tu thawabu katika maisha haya yatakupatia thawabu baada ya kufufuka Hebrews 11:35 inatuambia kuna watu walipitia katika mateso na wakakataa kuondolewa katika mateso yao wakitazamia ufufuo ulio bora women receive back their dead raised to life again others were tortured look at this others were tortured and refused to be released so that they might gain a better resurrection they were being tortured they had an opportunity to be released if only they denied Christ but they said i better be tortured to death this is why the apostles died a painful death and they never renounced their faith because of the confidence they had in resurrection and in life after death walikuwa wanajua wewe ni tese kwa sababu ya imani yangu Nisurubishe nitoe ngozi kama kondo badromayo praise the name of the living god walikufa vifo vya uchungu hawakukataa imani yao kwa sababu ya ule uhakika ya kwamba kuna maisha baada ya kifo jina la bwana lipewe sifa paul ameendeleza argument yake kwa kujaribu kutuelezea watu huwa wanafufuliwa namna gani na ni vizuri hata wewe kama mkristo kuelewa ado maliyo kagiwate because saa hizi kuna mtu ananyamaza anasema sasa my brother joroge tulimuzika 15 years ago mtu kama huyo kufufuka hata mifupa sijui kama iko jina bwana ipewe sifa si ameoza na wale ambao huwa anachomwa ama ni vizuri mimi nikifa nichomwe kama sitaki kufufuka. <laughs> ha? Unajua ukiwa na dhabi nyingi unaweza sema nikikufa unaandika kawiru hapo. Ti mimi nikifa nichomwe. Si kama watu wanataka kuchomwa ni dhabi nyingi wanaogopa kufufuka. Wanafikiria nikibaki tu majivu hakuna kitu itafanyika. Paul ameendeleza hiyo argument vile watu wanavyofufuliwa. Na anasema ile mbegu unayopanda haitoki na huo mwili inatoka na mwili mwingine. Mi nimetoka Nyandarwa mahali tunalima viazi sana. Na nilikuwa naona tukipanda viazi wakati ile viazi itakuja kumea tena ukiwenda kuweka mkono kule chini ulikuwa unaenda unatomboa ile kiviazi kinakaa vibaya kimeoza. Lakini inatokea na uhai mwingine na mwili mwingine. Praise the name of the living God. In that chapter 15 uh, verse 35. Hebu tusome kidogo tuone vile neno la Mungu linavyosema juu ya resurrection. Inasema but someone may ask how are the dead raised? With what kind of a body will they come? How foolish. What you sow does not come to life unless it eh, dies when you sow you do not plant the body that will be but just a seed perhaps of wheat or something else but god gives it a body as he has determined and to each kind of seed he gives its own body all fresh is not the same 
Men have one kind of flesh. Animals have another. Birds another and fish another. They are also heavenly bodies. And they are earthly bodies. But the splendor of the heavenly bodies is one kind. And the splendor of the earthly bodies is another. The sun has one kind of splendor. The moon another. And the stars another. And star differs from star in splendor. So, we let be with the resurrection of the dead. The body that is sown is perishable. It is raised in perishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. Praise the name of the living God. So at resurrection, we are going to be resurrected with a spiritual body, not a natural body. So hata kama umechomwa na ni majivu ya libaki, Mungu atakuja tu kwa hiyo majivu. Atoe spiritual body. Atakuja kwa hiyo kaburi ya mtu alikufa miaka 100 iliyokwisha. Ile mwili ya kwanza ilioza hata haina haja atakuja kwa hiyo kaburi atoe a spiritual body that is why wakati Yesu alifufuka bibi nasema kuna glory ya mili kuna mili ya hapa duniani hii mili tuko nayo mili ya kuchoka mili ya kudhoofika na kuonjeka praise the name of the living god ndio mili ya hapa duniani lakini wakati utafufuliwa Hautafufuliwa na huu mwili wa kuchoka na kugonjeka. Utashangaa sana ya kwamba mwili ule utakao pata. Dukano kaka. No ugoshe miaka teta tu mfululizo. Unaweza kusifu tu 3 years kikosho. Yaani Pastor Victor akisimama hapo kuongoza sifa, anaongoza 3 years session moja. <laughs> na tunaendelea kuiba bila jasho. Kwa sababu ya ile mwili tuko naye. Praise the name of the living God. Sio hii mwili hapa duniani ni mwili ya binguni ambayo tutapewa. They are spiritual bodies. That is why wakati Yesu alifufuka, ndio alikuwa na mwili, lakini alikuwa na mwili tofauti na ule wa kwanza. Angewaambia wanafunzi, ebugu zeni, I am not a ghost. So hautakuwa ki ghost ati unatembea na kimwili hivi cha kiroho tu. Hapana, it's a body. Angewaambia muguze Angewambia leteni yata chakura ni kure. Anakura. Imiri kwa ni inakana mna gani? Because kama ni spiritual. Sinikumanisha ukimeza chakura inafai na anguka chini kwa sababu wakuna kitu. <laughs> Jina abwana ipewe sifa. Hallelujah. But it seems they are real bodies. But they are spiritual bodies. Lakini tena, akitaka kuingia kwa nyumba, hafunguliwi murango. Anaingia tu munaona hako hapo dani. Jina bwana ipewe sifa. Kwa hivyo hii mwili unafungi wangu wa nje ni mwili ya hapa duniani. Ndio inafanyanga tunaweka hii milango na padrock. Ha? Na Mungu kweli alifanya vizuri because vile kuna wezi wengi hapa Kenya kama wangekuwa na spiritual body si wangetutesa sana. <laughs> ha? Ati umerara tu unaona kimtu kimesimama kado ya kitara kinakwambia amuka. Na haku goga mrango. Ha? Jina bwana ipewe sifa. Lakini sasa tulipewa hii mwili tuchuge kwa hii maisha. Tusijiretee shida mingi. Lakini katika resurrection tutakuwa na a different body. A spiritual body. A body of honor. A body of glory. Praise the name of the living God. So mwili huu kwa na mambo mengi ambao siyo hata ya heshi masana. Lakini mwili takao fufuliwa nao ni mwili wa heshima, ni mwili wa utukufu. Tutamani kufika binguni, tutamani kupata ufufuo ulio bora. Praise the name of the living God. Lakini hata wale watakao enda kuzimu pia, watapatiwa mwili. Ha? Because hii mwili ukiichoma, hawezi kuichoma more than one day, 
itakwisha lakini hiyo mwili ambayo itachomwa na haishi ni mwili aina gani it's a different body praise the name of the living god mwili yohana ruko rutarahia mwili inakaa kama kuni ambayo haiteketei kama ile kichaka ya Musa lakini moto unawaka ha? tutakuwa na mwili kama huo kama Mungu alibadilisha kichaka kikawa kinateketea kinachomeka na akiteketei basi ni kumaanisha unaweza pewa mwili ambao unawekwa katika moto unachomeka lakini mwili unabaki tu vile vile praise the name of the living god na waombea mfufuke na ufufuo ulio bora na tukutane binguni katika jina la Yesu Kristo praise the name of the living god that is a gospel of resurrection kila wakati unapanda begu bibi nasema hiyo mbegu huwa inaoza inapotea hata uwezi enda kuitafuta tena imeoza inapotea lakini inatoka na mwili mwingine praise the name of the living god uki ukiimagine vile kiviazi finally huwa inatokea na plant ambayo ni green that's totally a different thing from what you sowed and that is what is going to happen in the selection that is why paul is saying watu wanauliza na watu watafufuka namna gani Nasema wewe ni mchinga kwa sababu wakati unaenda kwa shamba unapanda begu, haupandi ile mbegu ambao unatarajia ndio itakayotokea ile unapanda inaoza lakini toka na mwili mwingine jina la bwana ipewe sifa so usiwe na wasiwasi hata kama mtu aligongwa na gari ya akapoteza vipande vingine vya mwili wake Useme in the selection sasa kuna malaika watakuja kutafuta hizo parts hazina haja hata kama mtu alichomwa na ni majivu haina haja the thing is you be given a spiritual body praise the name of the living god si Mungu atusaidie kuingia binguni si Mungu atusaidie kuishi maisha matakatifu si uwe determined ya kwamba hata kama kuna mambo sitapokea katika maisha haya ninajua nimewekewa binguni Biblia imetuambia kwamba sisi ni watu wa kuhurumiwa kama imani yetu ndani ya Kristo ni kwa ajili tu ya maisha haya. Let me tell you. Those who feel sometimes like you want to complain and to grumble because maybe you have not received one blessing or the other and you have been very faithful in your service to God. Let me tell you. You are not supposed to grumble or complain because one of the reasons that God is treating you that way it is because uh, he did not only save you because of this life god has not saved us just because of this life there are people who are living this life in a better way than most of us who are born again yes i agree jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly he became poor that we become rich but the bible says seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and these things they shall be added unto you praise the name of the living god we must must maintain our focus as believers a heavenward focus that one day we shall live with our master and our savior forever and ever and ever and death is a equalizer one day hmm? can you imagine 100 years from now 100 years from now he says kama yesu atakuwa amerudi mi naona itakuwa na watu wengine sio sisi hata inawezekana hata sio wale wako kwa sad school na sio teenagers ni watu wengine watakuwa hapa tutakuwa tumeenda wapi we haujaangalia hata video zingine mahubiri tu record 10 15 years unaangalia unaona haya na huyo alienda na huyo alienda na huyo alituacha na wengine sio kwamba ni uzee ulifanya watu wache mtu mmoja alikufiwa na ndugu yake akiwa na miaka 42 akawa na kasirika na Mungu kwa sababu alikuwa anapenda ndugu yake na ndugu yake alikuwa ameokoka na alikuwa mtu mzuri anatoa fungu la kumi na unajua sasa huyu ndugu yake mwingine obvious alikuwa pasta. Unajua watu wale wanatoa fungu la kumi ni watu wazuri kwa wachungaji pia. Jina bwana ipewe sifa. Yeah, they are a blessing to the ministry. So akajaribu kumwombea afufuke hakufufuka. Na siku ya mazishi ikabidi aende amzike. 
na akawa bado ananuna bere za Mungu. Mungu akakuja akamzungumzia, akamuuliza, "Tell me your complaint." Kasema, "I am grieved because my brother died young." Naye Mungu akamuuliza, "How old was my son when he died?" Praise the name of the living God. Sasa akaulizwa, "What else is grieving you?" I'm grieved because I thought there are other people who are worse than my brother. You could have taken them to heaven. My brother was a good person. And he replied, "My son was sinless when he died." Unajua ukiwa na argument na Mungu, angalia vile Mungu aliagi na Ayubu. Wakati Ayubu alicomplain sana, Mungu alisema, "Kuja sasa tuongee." Bwana pe sifa. Nataka nikwambie kwamba death is an appointment. Na hakuna mtu nasema atakufa. Lakini pia nasema kila mtu atakufa. <laughs> Jina bana ipewe sifa. Yaani hakuna mtu natakia ki. But the reality is that all will die. So the best we can do is to prepare for less selection. Sasa Ningependa ni kuonyeshe mambo matatu kwa haraka ambayo yangezuiria ushindi wa kufufuka kwa Yesu Kristo upatikane. Na ninakuzungumzia mambo haya matatu because resurrection ya Yesu Kristo ilikuwa ni kama climax ya mwito wake na vision yake. Na juzi prayer festival ya April tulikuwa tunaombea juu ya vision. Na pia ningetaka kuonyesha Ukiishi katika maisha haya kuna mambo yanaweza kukuzuilia pia wewe ufike katika kilele cha maono yako ambayo Mungu amekupatia kwa sababu hata Yesu kuna mambo yangemzuilia afike katika kilele cha maono Mungu alikuwa amempatia aje afe kwa ajili yetu one of the reasons ambayo ingemzuilia Yesu is listening to other people's opinions listening to other people's opinions if jesus was listening to the opinions of everyone he could not have died on the cross in the book of matthew chapter 16 and verse 21 we see one of his cross friends his name is peter rebuking him and telling him that he is not going to die from that time on jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go on to jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders chief priests and teachers of the law and that he must be killed and on the third day be raised to life peter took him aside and began to rebuke him never lord he said this shall never happen to you jesus turned and said to peter get behind me Satan you are a stumbling block to me you do not have in mind the things of god but uh, the things uh, of men bwana asifiwe sana ah uh, tunasherekea kufufuka kwa Yesu Kristo na Yesu wakati alikufa msalabani alisema it is finished the work of redemption my assignment that the father gave me it is finished brethren If we are going to finish our assignment in this life we must put in check the opinion opinions of other people that they give to us Watu wanaweza kukuhurumia wakati unajitolea kwa Mungu na unataka kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu na wanaona ni kana kwamba unajitolea sana Wengine hata wanaona ni kama na kwamba haustahili kupitia mambo yale ambayo unayostahili kupitia. Petelo alimwambia Yesu, never. Never Lord. Wewe hauwezi enda kule upigwe na uwawe. Watu wale wanaotupenda wanaweza kuwa hatari kwetu. Hata sometimes mimi huwa nasikiza my wife lakini namsikiza with a pinch of salt kwa sababu wakati mwingine atanizungumzia nikana kwamba maybe ah, ninahubiri vizuri maybe anaona ninajitolea sana kwa kazi ya Mungu ah, 
maybe nime sacrifice a lot lakini ndani yangu pia nataka kujisikiza Mungu anasema nini Mungu anasema I am not yet there Praise the name of the living God Watu wale wanaokupenda they can pamper you and hinder you to offer the sacrifice that God requires from you Praise the name of the living God In the book of Matthew chapter 23 and verse 26 Matthew 23 and verse 26 tunaona watu wengine wakimwambia Yesu uh, um, Matthew um, let's read John 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 19 and verse 25 Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother his mother's sister Mary the wife of Cropas and Mary Magdalene When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing by he said to his mother dear woman here is your son and to the disciple here is your mother from that time on this disciple took her into his home just imagine yesu amekaribia msarabani na utaangalia on his way to the cross these women they were crying they were saying oh god Have mercy upon Jesus. Yesu naye akawaambia, "Women, go and cry for yourself and cry for your children. It is well with me. This is what I was born to do." Wacheni kunihurumia. Alipofika msarabani, akaangalia mama yake, akamwambia, "Woman, this is your son." Maybe alikuwa na, ana, analia anasema oh my son akamwambia woman this is your son akamwambia son this is one of the disciples that Jesus loved maybe this could have been John praise the name of the living god akamwambia John chukua huyu kama mama yako enda ukamwangalie bwana apewe sifa mimi huwa nakumbuka siku ile niliwacha kazi nikaenda nyumbani kwetu nikaita mama na jamii because nilikuwa nimezoea kuwasaidia nikawaambia kuanzia siku ya leo ule msaada nilikuwa nawasaidia nao ni gai yule mtaidhagia ni Mungu atakuwa nawasaidia na tukashikana mikono na wao tukaomba na nikalia sana because nilikuwa ninajua they needed my help as a firstborn and as the only brother ambaye alikuwa na kazi na uwezo lakini sasa nimewacha hiyo kazi na nimeanza maisha ya jangwa. Anet ilikuwa lil jangwa. Mtu ambaye alikuwa amezoea kuja na pesa na nguo na vitu, ikafika mahali na kuja na Biblia. Na nikitaka kurudi nyumbani lazima mama auze kuku. Kwa sababu sina uwezo hata wa kulipa ticket ya kurudi. Wakati unapitia maisha kama hayo, kuna watu wanaweza kukuhurumia na waseme, "San Afadhali ungetafuta kitu kidogo ya kufanya hata kama unahubiri. Praise the name of the living God. Lakini ndani yangu nilikuwa ninajua ya kwamba Mungu ameniita niachilie mambo yote na niende nikamtafute na niende nikamtumikie. Mpendwa opinion za watu hata wazazi watu wanaokupenda mke wako mume wako wakati mwingine zinaweza kuwa kizuizi kikubwa ukitoa igali utakuwa unatembea miguu na we unajulikana ile hii yote ndio ulikuwa wa kwanza kununua gari udhiage magoro hmm? utakuwa unaenda miguu praise the name of the living god lakini ndani yako unasikia this is a sacrifice ambayo Mungu anataka ndio niweze kuingia mahali Mungu amekusudia Praise the name of the living God. Si Mungu atusaidie wakati tunasikiza watu hata wale tunaowapenda tunapima maneno yao yasije yakatuondoa katika ile njia Mungu alikusudia na njia itakayotufikisha kilele cha hatima yetu. Mi najua kuna watu wengi hapa ambao wangekuwa mbali lakini kwa sababu ya kusikiza watu na watu sio watu wabaya in fact ukiangalia pita hapo verse 21 tumesoma hapo chini hapo juu 
Petero ndiye ameulizwa na Yesu, watu wao anasema ni nani? Petero akajibu akasema, wewe ni Mesaya, mwana wa Mungu. Yesu akasema, hii sio mwili na damu inakufunulia. But few verses down there, Yesu anakamea Petero, anamwambia, get behind me Satan. So hata watu wale huwa wanakutabiria. Be careful. Wanaweza kuingia katika mwili na wakuletee prophecy ambayo sio ya roho ni ya mwili lakini sio kwamba huwa hawatabiri mambo ya kweli that is why mpaka unabii unafaa kupimwa jina bwana ipewe sifa mimi najua watu wanateseka huko nje na siku ya leo wangekuwa katika huduma hii wangekuwa watu wakubwa lakini kuna watu waliwaangalia wakawaambia na wewe Mungu anataka kwenda kukutumia kwa njia kubwa wewe hata unaweza kuwa aposto na ufanye mambo makubwa na wakafunga virago na wakaenda leo wanatafuta njia kurudi na watu wale wanawaambia hivyo ni watu ambao wanatumiwa na Mungu wanasikia Mungu lakini kuna mtu anakuangalia na kuhurumia naona sasa badala ukaange hapa chini ya maono ya mtu mwingine si uende uanze yako na we unaonekana wewe uko na neema wewe ni mtu ebo wanakaa kama wanataka kukusaidia lakini unakwisha jina bwana mpewe sifa sema nakataa kumalizwa na watu nakataa kumalizwa na opinion za watu hata watu wazuri We unafikiria Abraham wakati aliambiwa atoe Isaac alienda kumwambia Sara ti sasa Jehovah ameongea tutoe mtoto mimi nasema Abraham aliamka mapema kama Sara angekuwa anajua angemfuata akipiga duru. Bwana yangu amekuwa wazimu. Angemfuata akipiga duru akisema bwana yake amekuwa wazimu. Unaenda aje kutoa mtoto na hatuna mwingine na vile nimemgojea na mimi nimezeeka. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Sisemi ya kwamba uwe unafanya mambo bila kuambia bwana yako ama mke wako lakini pia nasema kuna wakati unaweza kosa kusema. Bwana apewe sifa. Wengine hapa mngekuwa mmemaliza siku fote za kufunga. Mi sometimes naonanga my wife wakati tume fast. Nikisema nataka kukula matunda na niambia na kulikuwa na tuboga hapa. Sometimes namwambia tuko katika fast namwambia nataka kula vegetables anaambia niweke tu viazi kidogo <laughs> na anafanya hivyo kwa upendo because anaangalia ha huh? my husband anatumia nguvu nyingi kuhubiri sitaki anguke bere ya watu itakuwa ni aibu praise the name of the living god haleluya lakini katika hiyo hali naweza kosa kuingia mahali Mungu anataka praise the name of the living god kuna watu wazuri katika maisha yako na hawana nia mbaya hapana nia yao ni nzuri but they can be a hindrance to the will of god in your life kama yesu angesikiza petro angeenda msarabani angeenda kama angesikiza mama yake kama ange yani angalia mama yako hapo na huruma ha sinaweza fanya kitu na nisisurubishwe na tutaona kile kitu yesu angefanya asisurubishwe lakini akasema hapana lazima nisurubishwe praise the name of the living god beba msalaba wako mwambie bwana nisaidie jina la bwana lipewe sifa kuna watu wengi watakwambia si hata wahubiri wengine huwa wanafanya hivi ha kwani wewe ndio mkubwa kuliko hao ma bishop ha wanakunywanga wine hmm hata wewe kunywa wewe hata sio pasta lakini unasahau pasta kuna wakati alikuwa mshirika bishop alikuwa mshirika na we unaweza kuwa mtu wa kawaida lakini uko na destiny kubwa na unaweza maliza destiny yako praise the name of the living god may god help you to rise up and to become all that he wanted you to be in the mighty name of jesus jambo la pili ndio tuweze kumaliza linaloweza kukuzuilia ama lingemzuilia yesu aweze kufa msarabani he was overwhelmed with sorrow He was overwhelmed with the sorrow. Let me tell you. Let, let's read uh, Matthew 26 from verse 36 so that I explain then we finish. 
The Bible says, then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him. And he began to, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Bwana pewe sifa. Nataka ni kuambie, here we see the humanity of Jesus. He is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Ni kuwa naangalia hili jina overwhelmed. Inamanisha wakati mungine that you are covered with a lot of weight or covering, covered with some substance. Haa? na unafunikwa kabisa it's being overwhelmed kama vile unaweza kuwa mahali umwagiwe maji kufunike ama ufunikwe na mchanga you are overwhelmed ni jambo ambalo linakuzidi nguvu that is why hata malaika walikuja wakamtia Yesu nguvu na all of us we can come to a place of being overwhelmed unasikia it's like i have come to my own end it's like i cannot be able to do it anymore Praise the name of the living God. You can be overwhelmed with the challenges in life. They can be overwhelming. You feel like giving up. Uh, you are overwhelmed with the battle against sin, temptations. Unakuwa overwhelmed. Unasikia ni kama I'm going to give in and commit a sin. You are overwhelmed. You can be overwhelmed by the challenge. There are people about who are backslide. Because people are on a financial problem. Mahali menifikisha. Badara ya nitupwe inje na watoto. Na kuna mutu anataka alipe hii nyumba. Na atakuwa tu anakuja marambiri maratatu kwa mwezi. Sia fadhali tu alipe. Dagi kiyo janeke na shiana. Shiana na hiyo kilara aja. Sasa watoto watarara inje. Na pengine hata ukuna wakati mwingine ulitupwa nje na vitu na, u, na ukakaa pale na ukanyeshewa. Sasa unafika mahali mara ya pili ama ya tatu unakuwa overwhelmed. Hiyo kuwa overwhelmed it's not an easy thing. Inamaanisha ya kwamba umefika mahali pa kushindwa. Na sio kwamba haujui Mungu. In the Bible in the book of John chapter 10 from verse 17 Yesu alikuwa na uhakika ya kwamba Mungu amemtuma aweke maisha yake chini na ayachukue. Ha? The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. No one takes no one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I receive from my father. Ngalia maneno ya Yesu mwenyewe anasema mimi baba yangu ananipenda. Unajua ni jambo moja kusimama hapa na kuhubiri na ujasiri na kutoa ushuhuda na ujasiri na ni jambo lingine kwenda kukutana na majaribu na shida nzito ambazo zinakuface katika maisha yako. Ni jambo moja kuruka ruka hapa wakati Pastor Victor anaongoza sifa na kutoa kitabaa na kuzungusha. Na ni jambo lingine kwenda kule nje na unajipata sasa hapa Yesu anasema the reason my father loves me it's because i laid down my life ha? hakuna mtu ambaye analilazimisha naweka maisha yangu chini na mimi nayachukua you know the sting of death is sin kifo kilikuja kwa sababu ya dhambi na Yesu hakuwa na dhambi so kifo hakikuwa na nguvu juu yake Ni yeye mwenyewe angekubali kuweka maisha yake chini. Lakini hata kama Yesu alikuwa anajua hivyo, alifika mahali akawa overwhelmed. Nataka kusema wapendwa, hata wakati tunajua Mungu vizuri na tuko na experiences na Mungu, you can get to a place of being overwhelmed. Challenges in life, they can overwhelm you. You can come to a place of giving up. He said, I'm overwhelmed with the sorrow to the point of death. Huh? 
Unafika mahali unasema de wake kaitage kuwa. Mimi ni wanini afadhali nikufe. Hii maisha haina haja. And let me tell you the days we are living There are so many people who have come to that place of being overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with financial challenges, overwhelmed with ma- uh, challenges in your marriage. You can be overwhelmed by their calling. Unafika mahali mpaka unasema sasa huu mwito umekuwa mzigo. Lakini ukishinda hapo. Hapo ukishinda. Praise the name of the living God. Hapo ukishinda unaingia mahali pengine praise the name of the living god haleluya wakati unaona umekuwa overwhelmed umefika mwisho yeah? that is why they sing a song when our backs were against the wall and we it has seemed as if it is over you made a way may god make a way for you in the mighty name of Jesus put your faith in god and tell god i know you are going to make a way for me I don't know how you are going to do it. Uh, my back is against the wall. I'm pushed to my end. I am at the point of surrender. But Lord, I refuse to sin. I refuse to give up on you. I refuse to surrender my calling. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, receive the grace you need. Uh, the same angels who came to strengthen our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, may they come to strengthen you. May God give you the power that you need uh, to overcome every temptation, uh, to overcome every obstacle, to overcome every challenge that you are going through. Receive the grace. Shakaba ganda mazia ma. Oh my God, uh, have mercy upon us. One thing I love about Jesus is being sincere. You know, he was God, he was man. But imagine, he was very sincere by saying, I am overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed. You know, many people, especially men, even when they are overwhelmed, huh? Baba yangu alikuwa nasema, unakufa kiofisa. Unajua kuwa kiofisa, ni unajikaza uko hapo na tai. Lakini mambo ni mabaya. Ubu angalia jirani vili amengara. Praise the name. Usifikiri ati hivyo amengara. Wengine wanakufatuki ofisa. <laughs> Sio ati kwamba mambo yote ni mazuri ukiona jirani amengara. Wengine hata pesa ya kunyolewa ni kinyozi alikopa. Nyeja ne gwetha besha. Na unaona vile dugu amekatwa cut. Sema wadugu hawa ndio wabebagi pesa cash wanakuanga na on a kuanga na mavisa card. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. But Jesus said, I'm overwhelmed. When you overwhelm, be sincere. Confined in people who are close to you, who love you. I am overwhelmed with sorrow. Go to God. Enda ujiangushe kwa mungu. Na umwabie mungu. Gai, nidaki nya muisho. Mimi mungu nafika muisho. Hapa usipo nisaidia. Praise the name of the living God. Sijui nitaenda. Waacha kujifanya. Bibi nasema yeye ni kuhani ambaye ako na uwezo wa kutusaidia kwa sababu amepitia katika shida ambazo tunazozipitia. Yesu amepitia katika hiyo hali unayopitia. Alifika mahali pa kusikia amefika mwisho. Paka akamwambia baba hauwezi ondoa hiki kikombe. Na ni yeye alikuwa na ujasiri kusema nimetumwa niweke maisha yangu chini baba ananipenda na baadaye niachukue hakuna anayechukua maisha yangu Kwa hivyo kuna siku naongea na ujasiri lakini kuna siku mtu huwa anapatikana Jina bana ipewe sifa Haleluya Yaani unapatikana mpaka unauliza ni mimi kweli May God give you the grace you need Number three, and the final one I'm going to share is personal security. Personal security hinders people to be able to reach the peak of their destiny. What is personal security? Personal security comes when you feel you have something else to lean on apart from God apart from your calling your assignment your salvation 
that you can let go the things of God and still remain standing. That is personal security. Kusikia kwamba ni kama naweza achilia Mungu na masomo yangu itanisaidia. Pesa ile nimeweka itanisaidia. In the book of Matthew chapter 26 and uh, verse 47 if we can read very quickly 26 and verse 47 the bible says uh, while he was still speaking judas one of the 12 allied with him was a large crowd armed with swords and crabs sent from the chief priests and uh, the elders of the people now the betrayer have arranged a, had arranged a signal with them the one i kiss is a man, is a man, arrest him. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Greetings, Labi, and kissed him. Jesus replied, Friend, do what you have come for. Then the man stepped forward, says Jesus, and arrested him. With that, one of Jesus' companions reached out to a sword, that must be Peter, drew it out and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Put your sword back in its place. Jesus said to him, For all who draw the sword will die by the sword. Do you think I cannot call my father? Look at this. Do you think that I cannot call my father and he will at once put at my disposal than, more than 12 legions of angels? Hapa ni wakati Yesu anakuja kushikwa Judas amemsaliti Na Yesu tu anajua na salitiwa na mwambia, rafiki fanya haraka kile umekuja kufanya. Wakati walienda kumshika Yesu, Petero wakasema hii ndiyo ile siku ni kasema, Yesu hawezi kuwawa ni kiona. Katoa panga. Akakata moja wawale walikuwa na mshika sikio. Praise the name of the living God. Yesu wakamwambia pana, usifanya hivo. Yesu wakasema, this is where I'm bringing in the point of uh, uh, personal security. Give us that verse 53 in amplified version. Yesu wakasema, you know, you know, these 12 regions, do you suppose that I cannot appeal to my father and you immediately provide me with more than 12 regions? That is uh, 80,000 angels. 80,000 angels. Imagine Yesu anashikwa, Lakini anajua mimi naweza kumwambia bwana tuma maraika hapa hizi nyangao hazita, hazita nitesa mimi na atumiwe maraika elfu themanini. Lakini hata kama alikuwa na hiyo personal security ya kwamba there is a way I can handle this situation I don't have to suffer Jesus submitted himself to his oppressors. You know personal security Dio imezuiria watu wengi wawe wakubwa. Kwa sababu wanajisikia, ni kona jambo lingine naweza kujishikiria. Badara ya kujitoa kwa mungu, badara ya kujiachiria kwa mungu, wanajisikia. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 23 and verse 3. Luke chapter 23 and verse 3 very quickly. Wakati Yesu alishikwa. Luke chapter 23 and verse 3. So Pilate asked him, Baada ya kushikwa, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered him, It is just as you say. Praise the name of the living God. So Pilate asked Jesus, Are you the king of Jews? Yes. It is as you say. Jesus replied. Yani kumanisha kwamba, Yesu alikuwa na jua ye ni nani? I was born to be a king. I am the king of kings. I am the lord of lords. Personal security gives you that ego and pride. Na unafika mahali. Vile ulikuwa unatafuta mungu. Vile ulikuwa unajiachiria kwa mungu. Unafika mahali. Personal security. Inakunyima the humility ambayo ingeachiria neema ya mungu katika maisha yako. Hauoni wakati watu wako, they are desperate, they have nothing. Wanaeza kurara chini, wanaweza kulia, they don't care. Urakini wakati watu wanaanza kuinuliwa, iyo personal security, I'm the bishop, I'm the apostle, I am a millionaire, I am the director, I am the CEO of this company. 
wanaanza kuwa na personal security. Na hiyo personal security inafanya vile ungejitoa kwa Mungu hauwezi kujitoa tena. Kwa sababu kuna jambo lingine linakupatia usalama ya kwamba hata nisipojitoa kwa Mungu niko na usalama huu, niko na pesa hizi, niko na cheo hiki, niko na masomo haya. Personal security can be a hindrance for you to reach to the peak of your destiny. That is why Paul said, one thing I do, I forget what is behind. What is behind you? It is your successes, but also your failures. Your failures can hinder you through discouragement. But your successes can also hinder you. Because you feel a sense of achievement and fulfillment in your life. So Paul said, one thing I, I do, I forget what is behind and I press on. Can somebody declare we are pressing on in the mighty name of Jesus? Personal security. Nikanisa kama hii. Unaweza kuta vile tulikuwa tunaomba tukiwa kule juu grey house. Kanyumba ya kukomboa. Munangangana na lent. Hamuna uwezo. Ile maombi munaomba pale. Na ile maombi tunaomba hapa inakuwa tofauti. Because hapa kuna personal security. Kanitha toyo na tiwago kwa obora. Kanisa kama hii na uwanja ni yetu. Hata kama ulikuwa nataka kulia, unawacha kulia? <laughs> Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Yani unaanza tu? Kuwabudu na kushukuru. Unashindwa kuingia kilidini. Zamani ungejiachiria, unajitupa kwa mungu. Unajitoa kwa mungu. Lakini kuna wakati personal security huwa inaingia. Inaweza kuingia kwa anybody. Inaweza ingia kwa wachungaji kama hawa. Zamani wakati ya huku umefanyo wa mchungaji, ulikuwa nalidia mungu sana. Baba kubari nisifunikwe nionekane. Dugata yaku, tumishi wako. Lakini kwa sababu sasa ulionekana. Kapaso na security kana ingia. Ata kutembea unabadilisha. Masaya ya kuja kanisa unabadilisha. Si razima ni kuja mapema sana. After Lord, I'm the pastor so and so. Praise the name of the living God. Personal security. Wakati mtu hana gali na akiwa na gali, gali inezafanya ubadishe maombi. Wakati mtu anakaa nyumba ya kombowa na amejenga nyumba, inafanya ubadishe maombi. Si mungu wa tusaidia, tusibadilike. Yesu alijua kwamba, mimi naweza itisha vikosi vya maraika wakuje wanilinde. Lakini, ninajipatiana. Hmm? Hizi ni kuku ziko kwa fridge lakini nitafunga. Praise the name of the living God. Huyu ni my wife. Ananiuliza kama nitakula matunda ama boga ama nitakunywa chocolate ama nitumie zote. <laughs> They are your disposal. Ziko pale. Lakini namwambia niweke maji moto. Jina la Bwana nipewe sifa. Unaondoa hiyo personal security ya kukosa kusikia njaa. Unasema wacha tu nisikie njaa kwa sababu kuna kitu cha dhamana ninatafuta kuliko kuku, kuliko chakula. Ninahitaji neema ya Mungu. May God have mercy upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, that nothing is going to hinder you to reach the peak of your destiny. Can you speak to God and tell Jesus, uh, you won the battle, help me to win my battles. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I am going to get to the peak of my destiny. Nothing is going to hinder me. I refuse the opinions of people who love me in the mighty name of Jesus uh, when they are trying to hinder me to make the necessary sacrifices uh, that can help me to reach to the peak of my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I refuse to be overwhelmed with sorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus, um, I refuse uh, to be overwhelmed uh, with the temptations uh, and challenges of life. Uh, they are not going to overwhelm me. I am more than a conqueror. I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, because my Jesus overcame, uh, I will overcome, uh, I will overcome. Uh, I refuse every personal security. I came with, without, without anything. Uh, I'll leave this world with nothing. Uh, I desire to fulfill uh, my purpose in life. Uh, 
Help me, Lord. Uh, deliver me from personal security. Help me that I'm not going to be careless uh, because of the blessing, uh, because of the victory, that I'm not going to be careless uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, because of the sense uh, of personal security in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh my God. Uh, somebody call upon the name of the Lord uh, and tell Jesus you overcame. Uh, I shall overcome. Uh, I'll receive a better resurrection. Reka Maganda. Nitakaribishwa. Niambie. Niambiwe. Welcome. Uh, faithful servant. Uh, Reka Maganda Mashanda. Because I am going to be faithful. I am going to finish uh, that which God has entrusted to me. Have mercy, Lord. Uh, Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Ba. Reka maganda bashanda baganda. I desire a better resurrection. Reka maganda mashanda. Sija muamini tu yesu kwa sababu ya maisha haya. I am here for an assignment. I am here for divine mandate. Reka maganda mashanda. Reka maganda mashanda ba. Reka maganda mashanda ba. Reka maganda mashanda ba. Can somebody call upon the name of the Lord? and refuse. It's like you are being overwhelmed by challenges. You are being overwhelmed. Sometimes even blessings can be overwhelming. The things that you are handling in your life, they are overwhelming. Just tell the Lord, strengthen me today. I refuse to be overwhelmed. Some of you are being overwhelmed by temptations. Tell God, I refuse to be overwhelmed. Reka maganda. Yesu alipitia haya yote na anayajua. Hakona uwezo wa kukusaidia. Reka maganda. Fungua moyo wako. Oh, siseme nimefika mwisho. Even if your back is against the wall. Reka maganda bashanda. He will make a way. He will make a way. He will make a way for you. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda. Wale ambao ni personal security inawasumbua. Ondoa hiyo personal security. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda mashanda ba. Ondoa hiyo personal security. Reka maganda ya cheo. Reka maganda ya pesa mali masomo. Reka maganda mashanda. Reka maganda. Oh, re maganda. Unaweza kujisikia hata we ni mlembo. Hawezi kosa kuolewa. Ondoa personal security. Mwambie bwana ni we ni naitaji. Without you I can do nothing. Without you. Without you. Without you. Without you, Lord. Without you, Lord. Without you, Lord. Oh my God. Somebody call upon the name of the Lord. Let the resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ come upon you. Be strengthened in your inner man to fight every battle, to overcome every challenge. In the mighty name of Jesus, this resurrection Sunday, Reka Magandama, Shata Baganda. Reka Baganda, be focused. Reka Maganda, set your eyes on things above where Christ is seated at the light hand of God. Eli Shandai. Reka Shandai. Reka Shandai. Usikubari mambo ya dunia hi. Ya kuzuiria wingie binguni siku moja. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Mwambie Bwana nisaidie kuwa mwaminifu. Nisaidie kuendelea na safari ya imani. Wale umekuwa unasikia ni kana kwamba unataka kukompromise. Kumbuka kuna maisha baada ya kifo. Na kifo kinaweza kuja wakati wowote. Sio mwambie Bwana prepare me before my appointment with death. Reka maganda for it is appointed for a man to die once and after death is judgment. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda mashanda. Reka maganda mashanda. Wengine umesikiza watu sana wamekuzuiria kujitolea. Wamekujizuiria, wamekuzuiria. Umekaa in your comfort zone. Come out of your comfort zone. Come out of your comfort zone. Jesus is calling you. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda mashanda. Reka maganda mashanda. Wengine wanakwambia hata Mungu anaelewa ya kwamba wewe ni mzee sasa miaka imeenda enda pole pole Rika Maganda dio lakini uliza Mungu nataka nifanye nini 
na maisha yangu yale yamebaki reka maganda pengine Mungu anataka uchukue mlima aliyokuahidia ukiwa kijana kama Kareba oh anataka uendelee kupigana anataka uwe shujaa anataka uwe hodari lakini unasikiza mwili unasikiza watu oh my god shatara baganda reka maganda pokeni neema pokeni nguvu za ufufuo pokeni 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 this resurrection sunday kata kushindwa kata 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 you are not going to be overwhelmed reka maganda bashanda my god my king give us the grace we need to overcome as you overcame in the name of jesus wale wanaweza tusimame na miguu yetu wapendwa tunasherehekea siku kuu ya easter kwa sababu Yesu alikufa na Yesu akafufuka na sisi wote tukapatikana akawa malibuko ya kwanza kutoka kwa wafu siku ya leo tunaposherehekea tukumbuke hata Yesu kuna mambo yangemzuilia kwenda kufa msalabani na wewe ukajue ya kwamba kuna mambo yanaweza kukuzuilia for you to manifest your glory for you to manifest your greatness for you to become more that God wanted you to be kuna mambo yanaweza kukuzuilia baraka kidogo zinaweza kupatia personal security na ukawacha kujitoa kwa Mungu you can be overwhelmed with sorrow maisha haya nimesema life is not for the weak Life is for the strong. The Bible says in Proverbs 24 and verse 10, if you falter in the day of trouble, how is your strength? The reason people falter if you falter in times of trouble, how small is your strength? Kile huwa kinafanya watu washindwe wakati kuna shida ni nguvu yako kidogo. Unaweza kumwambia Bwana, nijaze na nguvu mpya. I'm not going to falter. Mimi sitashindwa tunakaa katika siku ambazo ziko na ripoti nyingi za watu kupitia mambo mazito za watu kukutana changamoto za kiraina katika ndoa katika biashara na katika maisha kwa jumla but refuse to falter may you remain strong in your faith in the might name of jesus may you receive the strength that you need may god touch someone in this service in the name of jesus the same god who sent angels to strengthen our Lord jesus christ may he send the angels they are ministering spirit to them that inherit salvation receive your strengthening oh my god inua mikono yako mwambie bwana i receive the strength i need to continue my, with my journey to continue fighting my battles this is how i win my battles i receive the strength that i need i refuse to be overwhelmed i come out of personal security i re, I, i refuse opinions of men in the name of jesus i'll hearken to your voice mwambie bwana ninapokea nguvu ninazohitaji ninapokea nguvu za ufufuo you are a candidate of this power that resurrected jesus from the dead that same power is your portion 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 reka maganda mashanda mwambie bwana ninakataa kushindwa ninapokea nguvu ninazohitaji ninapokea neema ninayohitaji dio bwana dio bwana dio bwana shakaba ganda kuna watu naona wanatolewa katika mashimo wale walikuwa wamenaswa wale walikuwa wamezuiliwa wale walikuwa wamesimamishwa katika shimo hakuna kusonga bere bwana anakutoa katika hilo shimo dio dio shimo lenye udongo terezi toka siku ya leo toka usonge bere heshaka baganda bazia reka maganda he is making a way for you reka maganda achilia imani yako usione kushindwa usione kufika mwisho dio shaka baganda reka maganda mashanda reka maganda wacha sisi wote tupokee nguvu mpya siku hii ya ufufuo tupokee nguvu mpya mara ya kwanza chazwa na nguvu mpya oh my god oh my god the same spirit who resurrected jesus from the dead 
is the same spirit dwelling in us. Reka maganda. Wewe utapaka matai. Wewe hautazimia. Wewe hautazimu wana baraka. In the name of Jesus. Hautazimu wana cheo. Oh my God. Vile ulikuwa na jitorea kwa mungu. Wakati ya ukuwa na cheo. Utazidi kumtafta buwana. Utazidi kujitoa. Mara ya pili. Resurrection power. Oh my God. Shatara baganda. Reka maganda mashanda. If there is something that have overwhelmed you. Kama kuna jambo limekuwa nzito kwako. Pokea nguvu mpia. Pokea nguvu mpia. Usikubali kushidwa. Mara ya tatu. Resurrection power. In the name of Jesus. Father touch everyone. Who has been overwhelmed. In the name of Jesus. Strengthen them now. In the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Shatara baganda. Reka baganda mazia. When men shall say there is a casting down, we shall say there is a rising up. Jesus is the lift of our heads. Hey, Shakabaganda, Katai Yoshida, Haita Kuina Misha. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, yes, we are Shinda, a Kafam Sarabani, Usiogope. Hey, Shakabaganda, hey, Shakabaganda, ma, hey, Shakabaganda, ma, hey, Shakamaganda, ma, hey, Shakamaganda. Korima Shandaba Reka Maganda Baboshe Reka Baganda Baboshanda Reka Maganda Baboshanda Ebwana U Ninue Kwa Imani Nisimame Ni pande mi lima yote e bwana u ni pa di belenina endelea ni nazidi kutembea. Ya sikie E buwana u Ni pa Di Ewe buwana E buwana u Ni nuwe Kwa imani Ni simame Ni pande Ni mayo wa Easter ni wakati wa kufanyiwa nguvu zetu mpya. Pokeeni nguvu mpya katika hii Jumapili ya Easter Resurrection Sunday. Huu ni wakati wa kufanyiwa nguvu zetu mpya. Huu ni wakati wa kurejeshewa maono ya mbinguni kwa sababu Yesu alifufuka na sisi tutafufuka. Oh my God, kuna maisha baada ya kaburi. Bwana kurejeshe maono ya mbinguni kando na baraka na mambo ya dunia hii. Rejeshewa maono yako ya binguni In the mighty name of Jesus In the mighty name of Jesus In the mighty name of Jesus Wakati wa Easter ni wakati wa kutiwa nguvu mpia Ni wakati wa kufanyiwa nguvu zetu mpia Pokea nguvu mpia Pokea nguvu mpia Wakati wa Easter ni wakati wa determination Ni wakati wa kusema Na mimi nitashinda Na mimi nitasimama He shakabaganda He shakabaganda He shakabaganda rima Reka maganda Receive determination Because Jesus overcame You shall overcome He overcame I will overcome I will overcome I am an overcome Thank you Lord Receive the determination that you need Kwa sababu Yesu alishinda Kama ye alikufa msarabani Kama ye alitharau aibu ya msaraba na akasema ninaenda msarabani akaambia mama yake sasa lazima nipande katika huu msaraba akiwa pare Golgotha oh my god sina wewe ukate ukate kauli siku ya leo na useme nitasimamia wokovu wangu nitasimamia mwito wangu si ukate kauli na muambie bwana nipatie nguvu muambie bwana sirudi nyuma muambie bwana majaribu yaje 
Mwambie Bwana nitashinda dhoruba. Dhoruba za maisha hazita nibeba. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Shakabaganda. Mwambie Bwana ninakupenda. Mwambie Bwana usiniwache. Usiniwache. Sitazama. 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 Shakabaganda. Nitasonga mbele. Nitapanda milima yote. Dio shakabaganda. Juma pili ya siku ya leo ni juma pili ya kufanyiwa nguvu zetu upya. Fanyiwa nguvu zako upya. Fresh power, fresh anointing. Hey shakabaganda. Reka magada. Kama utobesa besa with more determination in the mighty name of Jesus that you are going to be determined more than ever before that you are going to win every battle you are going to win and overcome every challenge that you are going to become all that God wanted you to be in the name of Jesus you are going to reach the peak of your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus receive the grace kila baganda bashanda ba Receive a fresh breath of life. Receive a new wreath of life. Yes. Receive. Receive. Just wanna wipe here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Malaya tatu. Pokea wai wa mungu. Hautashindwa. Hautazama. Hautazamishwa na shida. Hautashindwa kulipa gharama. Receive more determination. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, akataba. Reka baganda mashanda. Hata kama kuna watu wanakurumia. Waambie hapana. Hii ndio Mungu amenitia nitasimama. Nitashinda kama vile Yesu alivyoshinda na mimi nitashinda. Thank you Lord. Thank you my king. Thank you my savior. Father we commit our lives to you. Can you dedicate your life in a moment to God? I just feel a prayer of dedication. It's important this Sunday service. We dedicate your life, you are calling to God. Just tell God I'm willing to continue serving you. I am willing to fulfill my mandate. Can you dedicate your life? Yes, in the midst of the many challenges that you have gone through, in the midst of many shakeups that have shaken your life to the core, can you dedicate your life to God this Lesalation Sunday and tell God, I am focused with the vision of heaven. My heavenly vision is not lost. Oh, nigwada wagatura niya na wekai. Oh, nigependa kuishi na wewe buana. Oh, maono yangu ya binguni bwana, shatara baganda, rika baganda bashanda baganda, rika baganda bashanda baganda. Imani yangu tusiyo ya maisha haya bwana, I dedicate my life, oh God, that I may live a life worthy of the calling, the calling that I have received. Nitaendelea kujitolea, nitaendelea kulipa garama, nitaendelea kusimama na fasi yangu, kwa sababu wewe ulie ni ita, wewe ni muaminifu. Na umesema utakuwa pamoja nami mpaka mwisho wa dahari. Nisaidie Bwana. Nisaidie Bwana. Ningependa kumaliza ibada, lakini ndani yangu nasikia roho wa Mungu akiweka ya kwamba kuna watu wanafaa kukubaliana na Mungu vile watakavyotembea na Mungu moving forward. Just agree with God how you are going to walk with him. Can you renew your covenant with God? The covenant that you made with him tell god i am still alive of the covenant mwambie bwana bado bado bwana niko tayari kutembea na wewe na maagano nimefanya na wewe oh my god shetara baganda bado nitaendelea kukutafuta bwana bado sitachoka sitachoka kuomba sitachoka kufunga sitachoka na neno lako bwana reka maganda sikubaliane na bwana wengine liwacha kuamka asubuhi Simwambie Bwana ninarudia maombi. Ninarudia nafasi yangu Bwana. Pale umeondoka mwambie Bwana narudi. Narudi, 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 narudi. Father, I also dedicate I dedicate my life to you. And I pray for your great mercy and love upon my life. I desire to continue serving you faithfully, Lord. 
executing the mandate that you have entrusted to me. I am forever grateful for the privilege and the opportunity you have given me. And I rededicate my life to you today, my Father, that you may help me to become all that you wanted me to be. In the midst of every challenge, I refuse to be overwhelmed. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Reka Baganda, and by your great power, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Rema Shanda, Reka Maganda, Nita Panda Mirima Yote Buana, Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda Bashanda, and your name will be forever glorified. Father, we worship you for this Resurrection Sunday. We receive your word, we receive renewal, and we are more determined, my Father, to continue fighting and pressing on to our divine destiny, even to our heavenly calling. We worship you. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you. We can take our seats. Ningetaka kuharaka kuomba kwa sababu ya wale wangependa kumpa Yesu maisha yao. Pengine you are overwhelmed na ukaingia kwa dhambi ukarudi nyuma na unasema hii sio ile maisha Mungu aliniitia ningependa kumrudia Yesu ama hujawahi kuokoka lakini sauti ya Bwana imekuwa ikikuita na unasema wacha nikubali maisha ya njia ya msalaba ni wachane na anasa za dunia hii mahali popote ulipo inua mkono wako ni kuombe that is why we are here we are here for you just lift your hand wherever you are in the overflow church without walls just lift your hand thank you for those hands rise up on your feet be bold enough to tell the devil i am quitting from your camp and i am joining the lord's army in the name of jesus imama mahari ulipo you are saying i'm coming back to you lord simama tu simama tu thank you asanti mahari popote ulipo omba ombi hili nyuma yangu sema bwana yesu Nisamehe dhambi na makosa ambazo nimefanya. Nihurumie na kuanzia siku ya leo uniongoze na unisaidie kufanyika kile ulikusudia. Shetani na kukataa. Yesu nipokee na unisafishe na damu yako ijaze na roho yako mtakatifu. Awe msaidizi. Asanti Yesu kwa kunisamehe. Amen. Baba na kabili wapendwa wale wote wameamini siku ya leo wameomba hilo ombi wabariki na uwatende mema kubari maisha yao yabadilike na ili watimize kusudi lako i bless them and i pray for your covering even the grace of god to be upon them to teach them to say no to every form of ungodliness in jesus name we pray amen amen god bless you wale wameomba hilo ombi tutakutana hapa kwa hema na wachungaji wetu na mungu atawabariki katika jina la Yesu uwe hapa uwe kwa overflow wale wako kwa church without walls tutumie namba yako ya simu kama umeomba hilo ombi 0110355000 tuambie umeokoka umemrudia Yesu na tutaweza kuomba na wewe na kufuatilia tuone ya kwamba Mungu amekusaidia kusimama 0110355000 tuma ujumbe mfupi kwa hiyo nambari a uh, dakika zetu zimeyoma za ibada hii ningependa tuweze kumwabudu Mungu na matoleo yetu it is always a great privilege ya kwamba Mungu ametupatia nafasi ya kushirikisha mali yetu katika kazi yake nguvu za Mungu zinaonekana katika udhaifu kuna watu wako na pesa mingi kukuliko lakini Mungu hawajawapatia hiyo nafasi lakini wewe hata katika udhaifu wako wengine kile uko nacho ni kidogo sana lakini naomba unapojiunganisha na maono haya hautakufa utaishi kama yule mjane mtoto wake hakufa jamii yake yote ilipata chakula as you give and connect with the vision and as you support the work of god may the scripture become a reality that when we give god is able to give us back it is more blessed to give than to receive na kwa hivyo ashes wanatusaidia wale tuko hapa ndani you can also use our mpesa platforms kutoa our paybill numbers 807108070100 you can send your 
offering, your pledge, whatever form of giving. 80711, 807100. Napia tukona MPS numbers 0717944444, Na tunaombwa sana, tunawaomba pesa yote ya pledge ya cathedral ya, ya World Revival Center itumwe kwa pay bill namba yake double four double four triple seven. It will say idea. It will make your work easier because we kituma pesa yako ya World Revival Center you are pledge pale ata unapata ujumbe mfupi mara moja wa kukuambia pesa ile umebakisha. Na washukuru kila moja wenu Church Without Walls thank you for your offering. Ningependa ku appreciate wale wame make pledges the World Revival Center. Juma pili iliyo pita ndiyo ilikuwa siku yetu ya mwisho ya kupledge lakini kwa wale hawakuweza kupata forms siku hiyo we still avail the forms today to give you an opportunity but we have come to the end of the pledging season the door will remain open because god can speak to you at a later date maybe to give or even to give more uh, the door will remain open but now we are going to stop mobilizing for the pledges and now we are going to focus in uh, 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 putting up the systems to help us to pay and honor our pledges. And these systems are in place. We are just perfecting them. And uh, we are also going to pray and be praying for those who have made pledges now that God is going to bless them with the seed to sow and the bread for food. So tutaanza kuangalia ya kwamba tunaomba na kuamini na wale watu wamefanya pledges na ili Mungu akaweze kuwasaidia na tunapoendelea ku make progress kwa hiyo kazi nilisema nitaweza ku update hivi karibuni maybe i can take some more time kwa sababu leo saa zimeenda sande kuweza kuwapatia update ya mradi huo uh, wa kingdom city in general na ili tuweze kuona mahali ambapo tumefika uh, tungependa katika hizi pledges ambazo tumefanya tuko na our online form if there is anyone in the church without walls ambaye angependa ku participate katika hizo baraka pengine umesikia sauti ya Mungu you can still pledge online the online form that is the link if you go to google you enter this url www.ksf wlc that is world revival center.com if you enter that URL into your Google, you are going to receive the form and it, after filling the form, you can still send it online. Ita kuonyesha that button pare chini ya kusend na ukituma hiyo form, ita tufikia. Na kwa hivyo tunafika mwisho wa kufanya pledges, wale wamepata hiyo nafasi ni baraka, tutaomba pamoja ya kwamba mungu atazidi kuwapatia pesa za kuona your pledges. Uh, kwa sababu ya wale ambao wangependa kuendelea kuangalia maybe the appearances tuko na ama statement tuko na USSD number USSD number ni zile number zinatumika kwa mobile phones zile huwa unafinya maybe star then a number star then a number then hash hizo ndio number zinaitwa USSD and we have generated a USSD number ambayo inaweza kutusaidia ku check our accounts even to get some statements na hii USSD number is star 789 star 1 hash that is sijui kama media wako naye it is star 789 star 1 hash if you place that in your phone pia utaona itakuletea a list of the information that you would be interested in. Na hii number nani amefinya imetoa information? Pastor Mbugu yako imetoa? Star 789 star 1 then hash. Aya, wacha niona ile imetoa. Yangu haitoi 
na especially kwa watu wale wako na numbers ambazo zile numbers zinatoa ni zile tu prepaid prepaid yani ni namba ambayo huwa unaweka credit wale ambazo namba zetu huwa pengine unalipa mwisho wa mwezi bado iko na kazi inafanyiwa so ukifinya hiyo namba inakuletea world revival center inakwambia check balance ama make payment so you can use that also to be able to access the information that you want so kwa other numbers tutaendelea kuambia vile ambavyo mtakavyofanya kwa the members uh, 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 and partners who are pledged and they are in diaspora we are going to give you a link ambayo pia mnaweza kutumia to check your balance and also to make your payments tutauliza payment zote tuzifanye through the pay bill if you do it through the account we are also updating our accounts online in terms of uh, being able to get that information real time so you can because there is an amount you cannot be able to send through mpesa uh, you can only send it maybe through the bank pia unaweza kutumia the account na tuko na account za world revival center na unaweza kuzipata so tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya mradi huu na tunaomba Mungu aendelee kutusaidia siku ya leo yeah you can save the pay bill number in your phone you may need it anytime this is a new pay bill number for world revival center double four double four triple seven kwa account you can use a family bank kingdom seekers fellowship world revival center uh, those are the account kuna account ya kenya shillings kuna account ya dollars na maybe if you subscribe to other banks maybe like equity cooperative bank you, we i think uh, we have uh, other two accounts ambazo zitatusaidia ku facilitate huu mradi wa world revival center because it is a big project let's pray for the church without walls as we come to the end of the service we'll be having our evening service from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. father i bless all our online members and partners and viewers wherever they are cause them to be partakers of this revelation of resurrection and help them also my father to remove all the barriers that can hinder them to reach the peak of their destiny as our master and savior jesus did there are things that could have hindered him my father for us to celebrate what we are celebrating today but he overcame help us to overcome bless us and be with us in jesus name we pray amen let's celebrate our online members church without walls god bless you let us meet in the afternoon service let's continue praying for our nation maombi yetu ya taifa inaendelea let's continue in the morning glory and the lunch of our meetings